Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I recorded in an encouraging message and I'm really excited to share something with you. So I spoke with a guy a few weeks ago who watched one of my videos that I made about 1 John, being born of God. What does it mean to be born of God? And if you haven't watched that video, I encourage you to go back and check it out. And so I read back through 1 John again because he was encouraging me of the video that I recorded. And so I, I read through 1 John again and of course, it caught my eye again. Another verse, I'm gonna read it for you. 1 John 4, 16 and 17, it says this. So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love. Whoever abides in love abides in God and God abides in him. By this is love perfected with us so that we may have confidence for the day of judgment because as he is so also are we in this world. That's so cool. The video today, I'm titling it Judgment Day Confidence because the day of judgment is coming. We know that. We know that the day is coming. Don't be deceived. Even though he hasn't come yet, he is coming. The second coming, we wait for it. Those who are Christians wait for this day where there will be a new heaven and a new earth and everything will be restored. The judgment of the Lord will be there. We'll all stand before the great white throne in Revelation. It, text, it talks about it. I'll read that verse for you too. It is Revelation 20. 11. Then I saw a great white throne and him who was seated on it. From his presence, earth and sky fled away and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne and books were opened. Another book was opened, which was the book of life. And the dead were judged based on what was written in the books, according to what they had done. And the sea gave up the dead who were in it. Death and Hades gave up the dead who were in them, and they were judged, each one of them, according to what they had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. We could talk a lot about the judgment of God, about that day that is coming. We know this is coming. We know this is happening, right? But I want us to have confidence on judgment day. I want us to stand before God and know that we are righteous, that know that we have done what is right in the eyes of the Lord, that we are justified because Jesus is my advocate. He paid the price. He paid for my sins. And I, I want to talk about this because it's so exciting for me. The first point I want to make about this is that God is love. God is love and his love is perfect. His love is whole. It's perfected. It's complete. 100%. And his he is love. And so I'll tell you what love is. I have some notes here. What love is long suffering in kind. Love rejoices in truth. Love bears all things. Love rejoices all things. Love believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. And love never fails. And I'll tell you what love isn't. Love does not envy. Love is not self seeking. It is not self inflated. It doesn't have its own self inflated opinion. It does not insist on its own way. It is not provoked. It doesn't think evil and it doesn't rejoice in inequity. That is what love isn't. And so God is love. He is perfect in his ways of love. And we need to understand that his love is for us. We need to understand that love is the essence of the gospel message. Love. God gave his only son, Jesus, because he loved us. Jesus laid down his life as a sacrifice for the love he has for us. He gave us the Holy Spirit because he loves us, because he wants to leave us with a helper as we walk through this life to continue to know him, to begin to be transformed every single day. Another point I want to make is abiding in love. Whoever abides in love abides in God. What does that mean? If we abide in love, if we abide in the Son, Jesus Christ, Matthew 6, 33 says, you seek first the kingdom of God and all other things will be added to you all other things. And I spoke about this in another video. What does that mean, other things? If we look back a few verses, this is talking about the things that we place value in in this world. What will I eat? Where will I go? What will I wear? What will I do tomorrow? Those are the things that we value, but truly we should first seek the kingdom and then all those other things will be added to us. Seek Jesus Christ, cling to the Son, cling to Jesus Christ. When we create a space in our hearts, place on the throne of our hearts for Jesus Christ, Wow, our life's changed. Our whole, the way we think, the way we talk, where we go, everything is different when Jesus is sitting on the throne of our hearts. When we give him that space, when we abide in the sun, everything is different in our life. 
The next thing I want to say is the boldness and confidence for Judgment Day. When that day comes, I want to stand in freedom. I want to know that all of my secrets that will be judged, the secrets of men will be judged, will be opened up. I want God in me to say, hey, I already talked to you about this stuff. I'm already clean. You already paid the price. I accepted it. And I walked carrying your name. That's what I want for my life. I want you guys, every single person who watches this video, to have confidence on Judgment Day, that your eternity is secure, that you're living righteous and holy on this earth today and tomorrow and for the rest of your life. Every single day that you take a breath on this planet, knowing that you're doing it in righteousness and holiness. I was reading a book recently talking about the fire of holiness of God from a, a pastor in Argentina, and it's talking about living in 100% holiness. Not 89, not 98, not 67, 100% holiness. And if you would have told me this three years ago, four years ago, five years ago, when I was just starting to pursue God on my own, a true relationship with him, I never thought it was possible to pursue 100% holiness. As I'm continuing to be transformed every single day, the help of my wife, I'm understanding that, wow, 100% holiness, it's there. You can have it. It's achievable. It's so awesome to live in 100% purity, to live in 100% holiness, 100% confidence for the day of judgment. When we are perfected in this love, in the love that God is, that he has for us as children, it's amazing. When we start to smell like Jesus, when, his, when he becomes our portion, our meal, our everything, when Jesus becomes our everything, when we stand in the shadow of the Almighty, when he becomes our security, Wow, our security cannot be in our family, cannot be in our job, cannot be in our stocks, our bonds, these things in our life that we place value in. It must not be. It must be only Jesus Christ. He's the only way. That's the way we have confidence on Judgment Day. It's not because you have a big fat savings account or a fancy car. No, because that won't last on Judgment Day. It doesn't matter what you have in your bank account. It doesn't matter what kind of car you have, what kind of platform you have, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I want to give you guys a real testimony just to give you an example of my emotions with this text, okay? If you look at my shirt right here, it says Montague Construction. This is my father's business. My dad builds new houses in the U.S. in Northwest Missouri. And every single time I went to a job site, I felt this authority. I felt this confidence in me. I didn't know how to build a house, but my dad did. His name was on the company truck. His name was on the t-shirt. I had confidence walking around because it was my dad's business. It's the same thing in our spiritual life. When we begin to carry that name of Jesus everywhere we go, to the supermarket, to work, in the car, anywhere, to the park, when we carry this name of Jesus, we walk with a little bit of authority. We begin to understand this confidence that, yeah, I don't know how to save somebody. I don't know how to heal somebody. I don't know how to share the gospel with somebody, but Jesus does. It's the name we carry. That's the confidence. The confidence is in the name. The confidence is in the name of Jesus. When we speak this name, darkness trembles. When we speak this name, demons are casted out. People are healed. It's amazing. This name, this authority that we can carry, we have the opportunity as children of God. I want to end this video with this part of the verse that says, because as he is so, also we are in the world. What is my because? The ground for my confidence is him. Because he is so. Because he is who he says he is in this world. So am I. Because his grace, his mercy, his holiness, his righteousness comes onto me. It's like I'm wearing this coat, this, this hoodie of my dad. It's on me, right? It's his business. It's on me. Well, I want to take Jesus's business on me too. The God's business, what he's doing in this world, I want to be a part of it. And his mercy extends over to me and it extends over to you. I want you to ask yourself, do you live in holiness? Do you live a righteous life? Or are there things in your life that you know you need to cut out? Things you, knew, you know that nobody's watching, but it's still wrong. Things that you need to cut out of your life that are taking you not closer to God, but farther from God. So guys, take account of your own life. Look at your life.
Take an inventory of the things that you're spending your money on, the things that you're doing in your life. What do you care about? Do those things lead to confidence on Judgment Day? Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna end this with a prayer just for to close this thing out, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this time today, for this message that you placed on my heart through 1 John. Thank you for the people that are watching, Lord. I pray that you, you convince them, you move in their heart to want to live in 100% holiness, 100% righteousness. God, it's not enough to just live good enough anymore. Lord, we need to live like you. We need to look like you, walk around like you, smell like you. Everything's about you, God. So I pray that that confidence that you're giving me right now in this season will extend to everybody who's watching today. Father God, give us confidence for Judgment Day. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Come back to another video. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. Bye-bye.